Hello, welcome down onto the tech desk. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at this today. So this is the Armor X from Big Big One. I've done a couple of things from Big Big One and they've all been brilliant quality and this is no exception. So this is essentially back paddles for your Xbox controller, but it's a little bit more than that. Okay, so we'll go through it in the video. This is the pro version. This is the non pro version. Um, and the difference is I'll talk about in the video, but this has gyro controls and an app. This one doesn't have that. Uh, this one is about 55 pounds. This one is 75 pounds or $70. And I'll leave links down below where you can get hold of this. Um, that's quite a premium price, but what you are getting is a little bit more than back paddles. So have a look, see whether in the, throughout the video, whether you think it's worth that price tag for these. So if you go over the box then, so on the front, this one is the pro version, so Elmer X Pro. Uh, wireless back button for Xbox Series XS controller. And the way it basically is, to remember that is, if your Xbox controller has USB type C, then it works with that controller. Uh, four remappable buttons, three onboard profiles, 1300 mAh battery. And it says for Xbox Series XX, Xbox One, Switch, and Windows 10. That's where this uh, USB adapter comes in. I'm gonna talk about that. It doesn't say PS4, but you can get it to work with the PS4 if you plug a DualShock into the end of there, okay? So I haven't tested on the PS4, but go and have a look on the website. It tells you how to do that, if that's what you need it to. And then up here is the app and the gyro control, uh, which separates it, uh, the pro version from the regular version, and then the four in one. And then a bit about it on the back, and a little bit about it on the side. Okay, then when you open it up, what you do is you get your back button. This is exactly the same, looks exactly the same, apart from this middle button here than the regular one, because the middle button here, if I just show you this quickly, does gyro, so you can sort out gyro for games that don't have gyro. On this one, this button is for hair triggers. Okay, so you can set the hair triggers on there, which you can on this Pro, but you have to do it via the app. Uh, you also get this, which is the USB stick, the dongle. This will be needed for every single console, okay? So the way this works is your controller will get connected to the, uh, the back paddles, and then your back paddles need to connect to, the, connect to the console. Unfortunately, you need this plugged into every single console or PC for it to work, okay? Whether it be the Switch or whether it be the Xbox, okay? And then you also get yourself um, an instruction manual, and then you also get a USB type C cable, which uh, is a nice, nice flat one, but I don't need them because I've got my, my cables over on the side. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna be focusing on the Pro and we're gonna be leaving the, um, the, the sander one for the side, but I will talk about the differences between them as we go along. Um, I've got two controllers here, a white one and a black one, both USB type C and both work with the controller. And all you do is to fit it on is you take the battery off, so you've got no battery compartment here. And with this, you just slide it on, make sure it clips in. There we go. And then that USB Type-C bit pokes it in there. Now, once it's on, what you'll notice is it is a superb fit. I just want to point that out. It is a lovely fit all around that controller. It's almost like it's made for it. It really is a superb fit. Okay, and then once it's on, you probably it says you need to charge it up first, and you'll see that there's a USB Type-C thing down there. What you're gonna do is gonna get a cable and plug that in. There you go. So if you plug that in there, there we go, it starts charging. Okay, with a 1300 mAh battery, it gives the controller power because it says this is now your battery. So if I go through the buttons on it, we have M2, M4, M3, and M1. These are your paddles, so these are your back buttons. These are all assignable, these four. Um, you have the power button there. We have the A, B uh, switch in there, which means that you can change uh, the buttons. Above that is your turbo button. So if you wanted to choose, uh, if you wanted to set up turbo, you do it with that one. And there's your profile. So you can have three profiles set for three different games. You have that, put that on the, that button there. And then you have an FN, which is a function button for things like macros, which again, we'll talk about. In terms of comfort wise, this is the best bit about this. These buttons are brilliantly placed to hold, to, to be clicking them. Okay, if I can show you this a little bit easier with this. So you're kind of just clicking there and then you're moving it forward for that other button there. Okay, so one there and one there. These are by far the best paddles I've ever used, okay? Because I just think they're not so much paddles as buttons and I think they're so easy to click and so ergonomic. And when you're resting your finger there, you're not clicking them, okay? So you can rest your fingers on them and while you're playing your game like this and you're not gonna accidentally click them because they've got enough force for, the, for them not to be clicked in. But then when you need to, button them. So they're, fat, so they're really good. And the way that you pair it, very easy. You just hold down this power button here until the lights come on, the controller vibrates, and then we've synced it. Okay, so that right one there means that it's uh, paired, and this one is there for connecting to the console. 
So as I said before, you're gonna need your dongle. Um, this is the same for all consoles, but I'm just gonna use the Switch here because it's just, it, as it's easier. But if it was Xbox or PC, do exactly the same thing. What you can do is you're gonna plug this in, press that sync button there, press the sync button of this, and it will pair up. I've already done that, so it will do it, or should do it automatically, okay? So all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna plug that into my Switch there, and it will start lighting up. Then with this switch, I'm going to go to controllers, change grip order, and then I'm gonna be doing this. So press those two, we're done. Okay, press A when you're ready. And if you notice here, it actually swaps all the buttons over now. So that A is actually not, so A is there, A is not there, A has been moved to this button here. So it's changed on the Xbox control scheme more than anything. Okay, so if you hit close, and then we'll go to settings and we'll just all the way down here, controls the sensors, test input devices to control the buttons. As you can see, A, B, 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 X, 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 Y, Y, Y. Okay, just want to briefly show you, with the Pro, you have the motion control here. So this center button here, you can actually use it as motion control of the left stick up and down. If I press this, it vibrates. And if I just come back out of here, you'll see that I can now control up and down by the gyro. So if you do get it connected and it's suddenly flicking around and you're thinking, what the hell's going on? It's gonna be because that is. So you just press that to turn it off. Okay, just a note for you there. So what I want to do now is tell you how to map the paddles here, and it's dead easy. So you've got this map paddle button here, which is the A, B. All you're gonna do is you're gonna hold that down and let's do M1 and we'll put M1 on to A. So all you're gonna do is hold down A, B, hold down M1, let go and it will vibrate and that will turn green. And now anything I press now will be on that M1. So let's do M1 as A. And then if we press M1 back here, you'll see that it's now A. Then once you've done that, you set them all up, and if you want to change them, you can do individually. If you want to completely wipe them all out, you just double tap the A, the A, B button, double tap that, it will flash, it will vibrate, and then that's nothing. Okay, then also you've got turbo as well. Um, I don't particularly use turbo, but if you want to, it's on there. That button on the top left there, you just hold that down and then one of the buttons, and then you can change the speed to be five tens or 20 times a second. And then something I do on the paddles, I do use a bit is macros as well. So you can set macros for these and we're gonna be testing this now. So all you're gonna do, hold down FN and M1 and then the red will start uh, pulsing. There we go. So now it's in recording mode. So we're gonna be recording the buttons we want. So let's just go A, B, Y, X, A, done. And then press FN again. And that saves it onto M1. Okay, and then if we go back here and we press M1. There we go. Okay, so try again. There we go. Okay, so it's recorded that. So you can have a certain amount of records. And it works all of the face buttons, all of the sticks and the D-pad as well. So really good useful function is the macro functions. And then finally, do have a bit of hardware is the profiles button as well. So on here you have profiles, which you press that and then it just changes color. So green, blue, and orange. So if you like, well, play Fortnite, you put that on blue, you can set that up and then you want to flick it over. It's all on board as well, you don't need anything else. Flick that over and it's so you can change it to be on the orange version as well for a different game. So it's really nice, you have three different games setting up there. Okay, another major difference between the Pro and the regular is the use of an app, okay? There is a whole bunch of options that you can change with the app as well. And it's really easy. So all you're gonna do is download the Big Big One app. If you've used any of their controllers before, you should already have this. Um, and all you're gonna do is when it fires up, you're gonna click on Armour X Pro and it will scan for it. And there we go, it's found it already. So that's connected to this one. And you can change loads of different bits. So you can set up your macros in here if you want to. Otherwise you can just, all you can do is click edit on the current configuration. And it's here where there is loads of options. So sensor sensitivity, horizontal sensitivity, response curve, dead zones, motion controls, sticks, uh, gyro, and then your sticks here, you can change all of your sticks, axis reversed, triggers, and it's right down the bottom here. If you look down the bottom, that's where you do your left and your right hair trigger. With the regular one, you have a specific button for this, but if you want to do that on the Pro, you have this on the, um, the app. And then key maps here, you can change all of the mapping on the keys, and then you're just gonna hit, you're gonna hit save, and then change, set it onto, a, onto your profile. It is 
brilliant. And then you could do the button test as well, which is really nice, so you can change this if you want to. It is a superb app, really superb. And then, yeah, M1 as well, M2, and then M1 down the bottom there. And then instructions and information, which we don't need to worry about. So if you are wondering about whether you want to do the, um, the pro version or the regular version, I would say if you can spend a little bit more and get the pro version just because of the app to be able to change it about, I think is absolutely superb function, it really is. So there's a run through over everything it does. I think it is really good, but there's a couple of things I'm not too sure about. Firstly, I think it's the price. Um, I think it's quite a lot of money, whereas you could probably get a pro controller for the price of one of these controllers and this. But having said that, like I saying, it does do a lot more and that app is fantastic. So that's where the price comes in. That's where the value comes in from the app and for all the other different functions as well. And secondly, is that you do actually have to use a dongle every time, no matter what console you use, Switch, or which you'd expect with a Switch, or even with an Xbox or PC, you need to plug this dongle in. So you are gonna lose a USB port but there's no way around that. So let me know then, what do you think? What do you think? Are you gonna be looking at getting this? I think this is a premium product. I think it's very well made. It's certainly not cheaply made. It's excellent. Um, and as I was just saying, I've been using it over the past quite few weeks flawlessly. Do let me know down in the comments below what you think and do hit like, do subscribe. And until the next video, bye-bye.